Small cracks in your cymbals can become a real problem after a while. They will get bigger and cause more damage to your instrument as time goes on. Here's how you can prevent that from happening. If you happen to find cracks in one of your cymbals, make sure to deal with this issue before the cracks get too big. The bigger they get, the more they will influence the sound and the harder it will be to get rid of them. But it doesn't really matter if you're dealing with small cracks on the outside or even larger ones. You can always cut them out to prevent them from becoming an even bigger problem. The tools you need to do this are an angle grinder, a metal drill, a file and sanding sponges. We want to show you how it's done with four completely different symbols. First mark the spot where you want to drill a hole. The hole is there so that you end up with a rounded edge instead of a straight corner where your two cuts meet. This also gives you more stability and helps to prevent the cracks from getting bigger. At this point you have to decide how much of the symbol you want to cut out. Our recommendation is to go with the smallest repairs possible. With a 16 inch HHX ozone for example, we decided to only widen the hole that was already there in order to remove as little material as possible. Next, draw the lines you'll be cutting along from the outside edge of the symbol to the hole you just drilled. A wider angle will give you a more stable symbol edge in the end. Now we get to cut out the cracks. When using the angle grinder, make sure the symbol is secured and won't move during the cutting process and also make sure to use safety glasses to prevent hurting your eyes. Now carefully cut along the lines. The next thing to do is to file the cutting edges. During this process you'll get an idea whether you'll have to cut off more material or not. Try aiming for rounded corners instead of sharp ones. If you're happy with the rough shape you ended up with, use the sanding sponges to smooth out the hard edges. And that's all it takes to finish the repairing process. But does this actually affect the sound of the cymbal? We recorded all four cymbals before and after fixing the cracks. Let's see how they changed. So even if you cut out a big portion like with a 19 inch HHX Extreme Crash, the sound characteristics stay the same. So don't be afraid to try it out yourself. This way you can definitely extend the lifespan of a cymbal. Have you dealt with cracks in your cymbals before? Let us know down in the comments and have fun repairing your cymbals.